Great news guys, the new Apple event called Scary Fast is coming next week and we're expecting to see the brand new M3 MacBook Pro. Let's go over the details about this and also cover the details about the specs for the new MacBook Pro including screen size, design and other details and of course give you the latest on the MacBook Pro M3 release date and price as well. But first let's jump in there with what the MacBook Pro is essentially being upgraded to. So for a long time Time, Apple have always provided the smaller, lower spec MacBook Pro and a higher spec MacBook Pro for the last 10 years or so. And when we had the sort of the Intel chipsets, we normally on the 13 inch MacBook Pros sort of either got basically a dual core, even a quad core in its later days on that MacBook Pro for the 13 inch model. Then after in the later years, we actually got the quad core. And then after that, we got to Apple Silicon and Apple decided to make the 13 inch MacBook Pro just have the standard M chipset inside it. So we had the likes of the M1 and the M2, but then for the likes of the 14 and the 16 inch MacBook Pros, the larger models, they have that M1 Pro and M2 Pro and also that M2 Max as well and the M1 Max inside it. So the 13 inch one has always been considered sort of a sort of a lower spec model inside it. As already mentioned, we have the M2 chipset already inside the MacBook Pro, but the actual design of the MacBook Pro hasn't changed a bit, probably in the last sort of about seven years now. Even when we had the Intel chipset inside the 13 inch MacBook Pro, we had the touch bar design, and this design has stayed the same. We've had refreshers, like I said, on the 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros with brand new design, and even the MacBook Air in 2022, but nothing on the MacBook Pro 13 inch. However, this year it looks like that this could be changing. So then guys, just quickly, I want to talk about today's sponsor and that is from Trend Micro. Trend Micro's premium security suite is like one of the best all-in-one security you need say on your MacBook and you can also get this say like on your iPhone too. It has so many different functions to protect you from hackers, viruses, and malware, and so much more. Trend Micro's ultimate goal is to protect your personal information, just like these features here. So you can set up a privacy scanner. So this basically protects you when you decide to share information, say on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. There's also web threat protection. And this is where Trend Micro can actually detect if say a website that you're on is a dangerous website, is that it's been known for fraud in the past or for taking your details in the past. It can alert you for this. And then say you've also got kids too, you can set up a website filter to protect them from going on certain websites you don't really want them to go on. Two of my favorite features include Folder Shield and also the VPN. And let me tell you a little bit about Folder Shield. So I don't know about you, but I get a lot of zip files and I get a lot of documents and things like this. And sometimes embedded, like say in that zip file, for example, there could actually be a malware, a bit of software, or there could be a sort of hacking software inside it. And what the protective shield can do is watch your key folders, like your downloads, your documents, and your desktop for anything that is suspicious, and it will alert you from before you actually open up any of these zip files that you actually have something inside that that could actually cause a problem. The other feature that I love is the VPN Proxy One Pro that you can see here, what you can download for free if you get yourself the full-on Trend Micro Premium Security Suite. Having a VPN gives you that assurance that say, for example, if you're traveling and you're in an airport using a public Wi-Fi or if you're in a cafe, for example, that you can set up a secure link to secure servers and that basically nobody else can probably hack into your MacBook, for example, or your iPhone to get any personal details from you. So as you can see, Trend Micro's goal, especially when you buy the premium security suite, is to completely protect your personal information. And if you want to check out Trend Micro, do check out the description in my video right here today because they are offering a fantastic discount just for you. So make sure you check out that Trend Micro discount right now.
So for design and screen size of the new MacBook Pro M3. So we're hoping that this year for the first time we'll actually see a brand new design for the MacBook Pro with the M3 chipset inside it. It's most likely the new design would be thinner than say the 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros but the other difference it would be is that there would be probably a few less additional ports than what we have on those two models. So for example we probably have more than we got on the 13 inch MacBook Air so we're probably expecting maybe a MagSafe capability and SD card slot and also a HDMI port too. But as this is the smaller MacBook Pro we'll probably only get say two USB-C Thunderbolt 4 ports but for the actual screen size as well it will probably stay the same size as the current MacBook Air what is a 13.6 inch display it won't go up to a 14 inch or even beyond 14 inch because we have that already and also don't expect probably a pro motion display inside it we'll probably have the standard 60 Hertz display too Battery life is also going to be probably very similar or maybe just slightly more mainly because we've got that next sort of generation of chipset inside it but still at the end of the day the larger sort of 16 inch MacBook Pro will have the better battery life out there. For chipsets we're expecting an M3 normal to be put inside this MacBook Pro and it's very likely that we see a significant speed increase of say around about 70% over the original M1 Apple Silicon that came out in 2020. We're expecting more core again and also a bigger factor as you can see here is that the new chipset will be made on a 3 nanometer die that will improve efficiencies in speed and battery life all around. Now having said all of this at this stage I will mention that all reports and leaks are not 100% proof they will come true for the new MacBook Pro. However if you're still watching this video then you as curious I mean knowing what is said about the new MacBook Pro anyway. So then, for the actual release day, unless you've been living under a rock for the last, say, 24, 48 hours at the time of this video being created, we've been told that there's a new Apple event happening on October 30th, what is a press release happening at 5pm Pacific time. And at this event, it is called Scary Fast, and it looks like from the logo that it's going to be completely focused around Max, and it looks like that the M3 chipset is finally coming at last. And with this, we'll probably actually get the launch of the M3 MacBook Pro. Now, as much as I just talked about a new design could be coming, there has been thoughts and rumors that we still actually might still get get the normal touch bar MacBook Pro what's a little bit annoying to be honest but we are getting that brand new M3 chipset put inside the MacBook Pro and most likely it will be coming out latest by say November 4th actually into our hands after the event what is happening on October 30th as I said at 5 p.m pacific time. I quickly want to talk to you about the giveaway we're having on this channel right now and it is for this. It is for an iPhone 15 Pro Max and I'm going to be giving this away to one lucky viewer around the time of end of December to early January time. So that week between Christmas and New Year, I'm going to be doing a live giveaway stream revealing who the winner is for this iPhone 15 Pro Max and it's really easy to enter in. All you have to do is leave a comment in this video here or any other videos coming up in the future telling me of what tech you're planning to buy in the remainder of 2023 or maybe into 2024. If this is Apple gear, Samsung gear, whatever gear, I'd love to know. Put it down in the comments below. And also at the same time if you want to know when that live stream is going to be happening make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell because you'll want to get the notification of when that is actually happening because to be honest December is not that far away and I will just quickly say guys sadly there are still spammers and scammers out there some of them still impersonating myself telling you to part with money for shipping and things like this this is not me at all I'll be paying for shipping on this international giveaway so that means anyone can enter in in the world and I'll be paying for taxes and things like that too. So you don't need to worry about any of that at all. But if you do see any of these scammers or anything, please do report them as you can see right here. 
So then, let's go over the specs next of all for the brand new M3 Pro MacBook Pro. So first of all, we are probably going to be getting at last a new design for the MacBook Pro M3. And I would say the design is in its own way a bit similar to the current MacBook Pro that we have right now. What I mean by it is the 14 and 16 inch mixed with, say, the MacBook Air 13 inch that we have right now. So it's most likely we'll still be getting that exact same 13.6 six LED rest of the display that we have in the 13 inch MacBook Air and this will be a 60 Hertz refresh rate screen it will not be a pro motion 120 Hertz refresh rate the storage options will be a choice between 256 gigabytes of storage all the way going up to two terabytes if you want that we will have the m3 chipset inside it and that will be made of a brand new 10 core cpu and also a 12 core gpu option this time round. and with that it will be made on that brand new three nanometer die that will give it even more efficiency and even more speed inside this macbook pro we'll have the choice again between eight to all the way up to 24 gigabytes of ram if you want to do that the body itself will be made out of aluminum or aluminium if you're here in the UK. And then you'll also get the MagSafe port, two USB-C Thunderbolt 4 ports, HDMI and an SD card slot too. What is an addition to what you'd normally get on say the MacBook Airs, that HDMI and that SD card slot. You'll also be able to still get this in the space grey or the silver colours. The webcam will also finally be upgraded to a 1080p camera in the top notch up there. And battery life will probably be up to about 23 hours with all those efficiencies with the M3 chipset and also this modified new design. Prices with the standard base model, the 8 gigabytes of RAM will start at 1299 US dollars but if you went up in storage but kept the same RAM 512 1499 and then 1 terabyte 1699 and then 2 terabytes 2099 US dollars. And on that note guys, it's also time to wrap up this video. What do you think of the brand new MacBook Pro M3? Is it shaping up to be a great new MacBook? I would love to know your thoughts, so please do put them down in the comments below. And also guys, if you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews and comparisons, like I said already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification bell. Until next time guys, I will see you really soon. Take care, bye bye.